The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Tuesday, the 28th of May, just about to wrap up the month. And so far, we've got oh, a, a phenomenally bifurcated market. I don't remember seeing, uh, just I cannot remember seeing such a divergence between the Dow. Uh, let me just get to this right now. The Dow, at this particular point, this is on the uh, the 28th of May at 10.06 in the morning, um, down 162. I drawn this in for subscribers to say there's a chance that we can make an arch formation, and that makes this whole area right here kind of key short-term support right there, the low that was made on the um, 8th of May at 38,814. We're trading right now at 38,915, 100 points higher. But look at this. The nine period moving average is so close to turning negative, but it, until it does, uh, it's just it's a work in progress. And look at the weekly chart uh, making this kind of rectangle for sideways formation. And look, we've already got a peak, a leg D in the monthly chart. That means if all of June, all of June doesn't make a higher high than whatever the high is in May, so far as 40,077 of the Dow, we actually make that peak D. And that's where other things can happen. That's where we've got to get a little bit cautious. Look at the S&P. S&P right now is trading. Oh, it's quite. Uh, it's acting quite well. It's up a point at uh, 5305. Now, what's really important about this, the high that was made, and that was Thursday. Uh, is it? Yeah, Thursday, Friday, Tuesday. On Thursday, the 23rd, at 534188. 534188. There we go, 53, 43.41 all-time high. Um, has a very strong nine-period moving average over the 14. The MACD strong, the on-balance volume has pulled back a little bit. It was overbought. The stochastic, it was beautifully, it was flat at about uh, 93 or 95%. Now it's at 79%, just under the 80%. That's just some, it's just one one warning out of the five or six key um, metrics that I use for the daily chart, well, all the charts, but in this case, we're looking at um, kind of a midpoint here of that entire move of Thursday, very big candle, a red candle, gapped up and then whoops, came down. And it's already a leg D in the weekly chart. So all of this is just be aware that the di divergence between the incredibly strong, even now after having pulled back from the day's high, the semiconductors, the SMHs, trading at, uh, let's got it, it's got 247.52, up 3.24. Um, looking at this and saying, you know, that's that G slash C after an instant restart invariably goes to four higher peaks. Well, this is the leg D that we're miss missing, and now we're getting it. Oh, I mean, I. I thought I had this nailed. I had one of our uh, Denners and a uh, subscriber send me oh, a lot of information about the um, you how I he's worked on this uh, data block that's just showing up here uh, because I, I can't see most of the time. I'm not going to be able to see with this new iteration of a very old program that they've just kind of left with a gray background for prices. That means red and green show up. Well, they'll hardly show up. Anyway, the high of 248.18 today, um, in leg D, with the unbalanced volume, very overbought. The stochastic, beautiful, flat at 92%. You couldn't ask for anything more than that, other than if you see the prices deterioration very sharply, but it hasn't yet. And the, the price way over the nine period moving average, the nine period way over the 14 period. All of this is extremely positive, and it's the same thing uh, for the weekly because the MACD finally turned up. The nine's over the 14. The stochastic is at 81%. Over 80% is good. And the on-balance volume's a tad overbought. And you've got yourself a leg D in the Van Eck Semiconductor ETF, the SMHs. Well, oh, I can get rid of that because this is once upon a time. I guess it's split. And I've still got the notations up there. But what's even more important about this is that 
when I, over the weekend, when I went through all the different uh, semiconductors, there was a little bit of a divergence between some, some of them. But, you know, a Vagio, that's Broadcom. Look at this. Look at that. All-time high just a, a week ago. It's stuck near the all-time high. It hasn't broken out. But this is very good action so far. But the stochastic started to pull back. MACD is still very good. This is the relative strength. It is... It's not as strong as it was just recently. So I'm watching all of these. I've got to go to NVIDIA. NVIDIA had the round number high, perfect round number high. Uh, then it pulled back sharply and made a round number closing low. <laughs> and then it ran up from the unbelievable, from 756.06. What does it do? It rallies all the way to today's high of... Oh, isn't that interesting? I thought I'd, I worked on this... And over the weekend, maybe because it wasn't live, but it was live because the futures were, were live. You could even trade them. Um, I, I'm not sure what's going on here with this little thing. Uh, yes, it was a good recommendation, but then I have to move everything to the right and I have to give this leeway. Eh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try to figure this one out. One, one, two, one point six two. All-time high in the NVIDIA. Fabulous action. Um, leg GSC in the uh, weekly chart. Hmm and a leg D in the monthly chart. All I can say, this is a really superb action, and as a result, we have to have patience to see. This, this isn't just bifurcated. This is just a, a, a huge divergence between the Dow 30, the SM, the uh, actually through each one. Let me just go through this. Let me show you. Look, INDU. So the Dow 30 is in a sell mode in the daily chart. Not the weekly, just the, the daily, all right? The, I, let's go backwards. The IWM is holding quite well, although it's a red candle today. Look, the nine is still over the 14. It's down, uh, just unchanged. Let's call it the 205.44. Um, and now I can draw in the Chevrolet falling axe formation right there. So, so we still remain along uh, this particular index and I'm just going to give it the best opportunity and and say we've taken a little bit off just in terms of money management. But there's a chance, and it's now a smaller chance, but it is a chance that over a period of maybe three weeks, let's give it two, three weeks going into uh, mid-June, I'm just suggesting that if this holds well, we could come out of this and see a bit of a, a pullback. It's just a, a digestive phase in the semiconductors. And if we can start to see the iShares Russell 2000 ETF actually start to rally from where it is now, 205, try to get to the 211, um, the most recent high, or 212, 13 area, that, that'll be really good action. I'm just saying if. I don't know if it's going to happen because so far we've got really big pullbacks um, in on a, on a percentage basis between the different indices. If you go to the S and go to the QQQ, the QQQ holding very well, nil all-time high, 460.58 was all-time high three days ago, three sessions ago. And here it is at 458.19. Nothing wrong with that. All the technicals are pretty good. Stochastic is pulling back, but still very strong. If you go to the s &P, it's the same sort of thing here. s and is almost at all-time highs. 53.41.88 was a high on Thursday. Here it is at 53.04. So it's how this all resolves. And that's going to be, and I'll talk about this as soon as we return. Basil Trap and Tiger Technicians Hour. Be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. 
former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member. Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The Gold Report as a precious metal gold is still king, it continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the US futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, right, folks. So let me just get to a couple of questions right away before I run out of time. Agen is a, a stock, Agenus Inc. Oncology. Um, it, it's in the uh, uh, biotech field. Uh, trading right now at 15.40, up $1.78. A-G-E-N is the symbol. And it's in a leg B. Yes, in the daily chart, leg B. It's had a tr tremendous move. We looked at this before. Um, yes. So the question is, uh, let's see, uh, Tuesday. Uh, Basil, happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Back at you, Dan. Please review A-G-E-N. Have been discussing it for quite a while. In the den, a number of dinners are in it. I added June calls last week. Do I just hold the reins and let her run? So I'm going to suggest to you, because it's getting so close to the uh, right there, probably 1684. Yeah, so this is the way I'm looking at it. If you look, let's go to the weekly chart. This is the one because if you look at the monthly chart, oh, it is just horrible. Once upon a time in the 130s, uh, and it has a little bit of a pullback to the to the fours. And right now it's trading very nicely. So let's look at the weekly chart. That's the middle middle panel here. And what we're looking at is there is on the left you've got the next peak on the upside. That is, of course, troughs on the downside. Peak on the upside is at 18.98. On the 16th of Feb. So this is not exactly a Chapman Wave Roman candle, but it does have a long wick, and that just suggests a trading right now. The high today so far is 1562. If it's able to trade for a, I'm going to say a day and a half. I'm not prepared for just one spike to the upside. I want a whole day and a half of closes above $17, and then the next level would be. Uh, up at the 1898 high of the 16th week of the 16th of Feb. That's that's on the upside. I have to wait for the full week, but this is the first time I'm going to. You won't believe this, but this is the first time using this one particular tool that I've used forever. Uh, in 2023, February, the week of the 10th, 
Uh, this was trading at the 52 level, between 52 and 54, but it hit a high of 52.40. And that very day, it turned pink. From green, it went pink to a nine-period moving average. Well, since February of 2023, to this week, it's the first time, and we haven't got a, cl a clue because it's, you have to wait for the, the price close on Friday at 4 o'clock. But so far, this is the first time that the nine-period moving average has crossed positive. The weekly, you see the histogram, these vertical lines of the MACD, that's very strong. You see the stochastic at 56%, it's okay. If you look at the... Um, Right there. That blue line, that's the unbalanced volume. Yes, it's rallying, and that's a good sign. So all I can say is that what I would normally do is I'd want to draw in a cup formation. And the cup formation says AGEN made a high. Remember, we're looking at that, uh, that candle from right there with a long wick and then but a big body and it doesn't look quite like a Chapman Wave Roman candle because the body red body should go just to the lower wick give it a, just a fraction of a wick there and it hasn't but at the same time what we are looking at is there is a chance for a price time match now if I go to that low and I'm going to do that just for the moment that's more conservative it'll be a little more aggressive if I use this candle right here but I'm going to go to that candle and that says by June, the week of, I'll just click this so that I can give you the exact, no approximation, this is exact. It either works or it doesn't work. And it says you've got all the way. Uh, to me, to my eye, this is a little bit too long because if it's going to work, it's going to work very soon. It's going to work within about a week and a half. But I'm giving you all the way through to June. Is that June? No, it's already the first week of July. I don't want to go there. I'm going to be a little more conservative. And the reason why, if I take my Chapman Wave inside wedge target resistance line, this is the inside wedge, and I do it right to there. Uh, in a way, I can say, yeah, that's fine. I, everything concurs. And it could still have some wiggling uh, sideways action without breaking to the upside. But on a very conservative basis, I'm going to say to you, by the end of June, Beginning of July, that high should be hit if this is going to be an accurate representation of the cap left side, right side price time match to the plumb line. I'm Now, if I did a more refined uh, um, analysis, I would go to probably this candle, just one before, and that takes me to about there. And that takes me to around about the week of the 14th of June. To my eye... That's a better approximation. But these are all approximations because that's all you can do. You do your pattern and you see that if it's going to if it's going to work. I would say to you that if uh, AGEN gets even close, is that going to happen every time? Yep, it's going to happen. Uh, over the weekend, I was practicing and practicing. But it stayed right there. This is that little data box. All right. So what I'm looking at is if AGEN in the next, mm, I want to give it another two days. I could give it three. I prefer to do it with speed rather than uh, time. I'm going to say that if it can get to 16.20, right now it's at 15.75, so another 50 cents higher. If it can hold there on a closing basis, then there's a really good chance the 200-period moving average in the daily chart for a generous Inc. oncology uh, stock. Yeah, that's what I'd, I'd say. And now I could do the same thing here on a daily basis. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to say to you that high that was made back in the week, uh, that was right on the 27th of February of this year. And uh, and the next day, just in that area of 15.90, that's kind of your benchmark on the left. Now, if I did the same thing with the left side, right side price time match there, you can see that. I, I don't really have to go that, that far. Um, then if I did that, I'd have to find this tiniest can and I'll go there. And It doesn't matter. What I am saying is I like its action. Now, your, your question, your statement really is, or your comment, is um, have been discussing it. Uh, and your question really is, is this just on a run that's going to make higher highs and higher lows? Well, you can do your you can do your. Uh, one-to-one -one count like this. You can do a bunch of things. It doesn't matter. All that I'm saying is I have icons on the upside that are attractors, that are magnets. 
And that last one that I'm looking at just for the shorter term is a 16.80, 200-period exponential moving average. You get 16.20, it should go plop, and suddenly touch it. If it can do it in the next two days or so, then you've got a little digestive phase. Digestive phase can actually last a month. So all I'm saying to you is the speed that I'm looking at, you see the way this MACD, oh, sorry, the stochastic has gone from under 20 or right on 20% to 68% uh, right now. When it does that, very often you use you usurp a chunk of energy and then it needs a little bit of a breather. So I'm going to say to you, it's all very well that, uh, looking at the upside and this just look, all of the action has been up in the uh, in this particular block right here. And that's why I like to look at my, uh, whatever instrument symbol we're looking at. Where is the majority of action? And you can see the majority of action is not down here. It's up here between half and eight. So that's so it helps you. I, I hope that helps you. But most importantly, the key support is at 1582, 1410 to 1360 is your short-term support in Bus Hall. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, Target Initial Zone, Dow's down 140. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in a fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. 
Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, folks. The next one was uh, going to have a look at, uh, do you want to know about eBay? So eBay trading down uh, 29 cents at 54.12. Let me just show you the various, uh, so eBay online vendor, uh, or at least displayer of products. Uh, we're looking at uh, 54.11 down 30 cents. This is a leg C in the daily chart. Um, all the technicals are suggested with a stochastic at 91% that there's a pullback today, but there should be one little squeak above today's high of 55.15 if this does become a peak C. At the same time, it's a leg D in the weekly chart. Now, the, the whole pet thing about how do you build a base from which to break out? So there's a technique that I talk about and I, I show subscribers. It's A, B, there it is. It's where you build a base and you, you get the Chapman Wave restart. The restart says that you keep starting over, but you don't take out the low. And that's really the key ingredient here. Let me just look at this high that was at 52.93, then 52. Yep, I thought so. So we've already got a leg D in the weekly chart. It's not very good action when you think that this was once uh, just over 80, and most recent decline was down to the 34 or 35 area. So that just says, hmm, it's starting to build a base. Well, the whole thing about a base is that if you can build a kind of a, a, a bowl formation, a, a dreaded H that becomes a positive, in other words, a dreaded H is where you go make an arch formation, failing at a peak B, but you take out the left side low. But if it holds, that's a successful test. And then if there's a, the close, especially if there's two close, consecutive closes above the arch high, which there has been, now you can start to talk about at least the chance of a cup formation building. So I like eBay in terms of what's happened up until this very moment. Now, the reason why I say up until this very moment is that let me just, oh, I can see there's going to be a little problem there. I might have to do what was recommended. Uh, I'm stubborn. I'll try to work around it for at least a, a little while. So eBay, now the question is, could I take a look at it? Now, I don't know whether I'm looking at it because you're long and you've been long and strong or whether you're just getting in or you're not getting in or you're looking to see short or whatever it is. I'm going to do it as if there's no position right now. I'll do it three ways. One is no position. One is a position. And one is... Um, thinking about a position. So in this particular instance, if you're just watching it, um, I'm going forwards now. I'm going from the daily to the weekly to the monthly. The daily chart suggests that somehow or other there should be higher highs to come. If I had to look on the left side, I have to go a long way to find uh, the left side cliff on the, uh, that it broke down from. So that's out of the question right now. So what I'm looking at is that there's a chance that if, if um, eBay, EBA, E-B-A-Y is a symbol trading down 30 cents. If it at any point in the next three weeks, I'm giving just I'm giving it time because that's what I feel is most important right now. Just don't be impatient. Be patient. You'll get if you're looking to go short certain stocks that have been fantastic, you'll get an opportunity. If you're looking to uh, add to positions or to get into brand new positions, have patience for a pullback. A pullback's coming, or at least a digestive rotational phase, I'm sure is coming at this particular point because of the action just in the Dow 30 right now when the Dow's down 136 of the consecutive daily low, lower highs and lower lows. The others are in different categories altogether. So I'm looking at this and I'm saying positive. Everything at this exact moment is positive. That can change, but it, I have to wait for at least a slide under Friday's big, big green candle and that had a high of a uh, high of 50, 54, 59, and a round number low of 53. So I'm just saying, if there is a close under 52.90, in other words, below that round number, then I, and it's in C, you might take a little more time before you can get to that. At this particular point, there is just a lot of evidence suggesting that eBay is in the category that's holding very well, very quietly making higher highs and higher lows. Uh, taking a little time out each time it makes a peak of consequence, but it still holds the night period moving and it's good. So I like it very much. Now, I would do this if you want to go in, if you want to buy it, 
I would just nibble right here at 54.13 because, you know, eBay could be a stock that's under the radar. It's in a sector that might not be impacted by a very sharp down move in the market because um, it's in a, a, cat a desirous category. In other words, a category where people are actually looking for something. They're trying to find the best price, but at least they're there. You don't want people not coming at all to the store, right? So I like it. And at this particular point, I would start just, it's 54.14. You can do one of two things. You can start a position right here, but it's only a very small, it's not even a starter position. It's just like I'm getting my foot in the door. The reason why I'm saying that is because I think it's going to make a high high and then it's going to digest and it could digest between 56 maybe and 51 over a period of two or three weeks. So step in right here. If you want to be in, you'll like it. You'll just be waiting. Yes, it's at a yearly high. But that's not the issue. The issue is that it's acting very well. Second thing is just step back and say, you know what? I, I, I've missed the, the, the biggest move. I don't want to play the last 5 7%. I'd rather wait for a much bigger pullback so I can get 15%. If that's the case, have patience because at some point, I believe in the next couple of weeks, you're going to have a chance around about 52 between 52 and 51. Let's have a look at it together. Don't just dive in. Give me a yell. The third thing is, I personally, this is not a stock I would look at as a short. It just, it's just not in that category. All right. So I've covered those things. I like all the action, the daily, the weekly, and the monthly has improved a lot because of, for the past three months, it's the nine period moving average is being green and the stochastics at 81%. I like it. Okay. So I'm going to put down your eBay. I'm just going to give it a check because I want to have another look at it myself. I looked at it just recently. I didn't do the notation for some reason. I lost that, but that's okay. Next one is Okla. O K L O, Oklo, Oklo Inc. So Oklo is trading right now at 10.97, up 82 cents. Had a gap up this morning. This is Oklo Inc. Power plants and nuclear fuel recycling. This monthly chart, I should make it. I should make a note about this particular monthly chart. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite as wide um, on a monthly basis for any. This. Uh, all I can say is it's amazing. So I'm just going to say to you, I'll get back to you in a moment. But just right now, we've got Brenton Martinez. Brent, how are you? Haven't heard from you for a little while. I hope you're well. Oh, I'm doing quite well, Basil, and you? I'm doing well, thank you. You'd Great like to, to look at... Again. Yeah, good to speak with you, too. Our family's doing well. Yes, they are. Troy and Brooke, you see met them. They just got married yep. uh, back on right. the 18th. Oh, congratulations. So they're, they're officially wed now. <laughs> Congratulations. So you would like to look at Colgate Palmov? Uh, no, it's the, it's the crude oil contract. In, in oh, the okay. Industry. Wow, because the Colgate Palmov has had a great move up. Now it's rolling over. I'll be back with Brent in Martinez, California. We're looking at crude oil, crude oil. Now. Oh, a bigger, bigger move than even earlier on. I'll be right back. The Dow is down 160. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. 
Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi folks, we're back. We're back with Brent and Martinez, California. Brent, so what did you do with crude oil? Well, I bought in last week, uh, towards the end of the week, going into the holiday weekend. It didn't make a lot of sense to me that Oil was trading down, testing kind of that lower band. And so I, I'm using the July contract as far as the charting, but I'm using the trading vehicle of the UCO. I have a, the June monthly uh, $30 so you, calls. That's what so I'm you're trading. In, in the, I just wanted to get your thoughts on it. Yeah, so you're in the pro shares, the UCO. Uh, just off the top of my head, just I can't remember. Is this the two or three times long? I think it's two, right? I think it's a. I think it's a T times. I believe. Yeah, that's what I think. Okay, so let's just do this uh, very quickly on the um, very quickly on the UCO weekly chart. Uh, it's made a peak A, peak B, peak C, and now it's made a peak D, pull back quite sharply from the 36s. And the nine period moving average is still fabulous, holding really well as the prices come down. Um, it's a little different with the W formation that's on the daily chart. This is a UCO. But what's fascinating is I was looking at this over the weekend and I thought something's going on. For instance, uh, let's see, I had a question in the den about um, we did this just a moment ago. Was that Octo? Octo o o K T O? Am I correct? No, gosh, I wrote it down. Um, OKLO, OKLO. Um, now, this wasn't on my list at all, but it's just interesting. It's Oak, Oaklo Inc., power plants, nuclear fuel, recycling. So the whole energy sector has been kind of a, a, a mishmash. You've got the uranium stocks doing really well. Um, you've got the some of the, for instance, if you go to RIG, this is oil. Um, this is Transocean Limited offshore drilling and oil, holding very nicely from the low that it made at about 15, 10, 5, 10, uh, back in um, earlier. This was at April, I think it was. And now what we're looking at is it's right at the 200 period moving average. But on on the, my my screamer list, that's the list that I look at under ten dollars that pop up as movers. There have been a number of oil. Stocks in the oil sector, that whole oil patch, whether it's the drillers, it, it doesn't matter. They, they're in various areas, and some of them have had some pretty decent moves. So I'm, I'm looking at this, and I'm saying, you know, in the Middle East, uh, a lot of the time when we're looking at crude oil, it kind of goes together with gold, and it hasn't really done that for a while now. In fact, the whole, the whole aspect of crude oil – making lower lows and lower highs for some time and then sort of flattening out. Um, I, I agree with you. It's kind of, in a way, it's a mystery because you would think that it's the, the tool that is, is almost the, this is the weapon that, that is used geopolitically. 
and yet it's sitting quite even now. It looks great. Yeah, it's up a dollar seventy at seventy nine point forty two the crude oil, but it needs to go substantially higher than the high that was made in the twentieth. Oh, this is a continuous contract of eighty point eleven, and it it isn't there yet. And if you look at the weekly chart, this sideways move. We saw something almost like that in the futures a little earlier on. It went sharply down, then went sideways. So what happens next is very important. So I, I like your idea of going long, and I'm sure you've got your stop in. You've got your, all, 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 all of that is organized in your mind. Uh, but most importantly, it's what happens next. If you're looking at the monthly chart, look at this declining trend line. And I haven't drawn in the Chapman Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone, but it's right there. It hasn't been able to break above it. So on a monthly basis, if at any point in June, crude oil actually closes, um, you've got the trend line in the weekly chart. Should I I'll go to that one first because it's a little bit more obvious to see. So if crude oil trades, certainly if it takes out the high that was made the week of the 5th of April, and that high was 86.60. Now it sounds seven points like a 10% move. I'm just saying that's what would be needed for me to say, hey, crude oil is in play and you better be careful because if it's going in play and bond yields are going up, they, and they also have to talk about gold. But in this particular point, I'm looking at it and I'm saying your risk reward here. Is, will be very good. I'm not saying right now because I need a little bit more evidence. But if it takes out the high that was made a week and a half ago, uh, what did I say? It was 80, uh, 80, 80, 11. Is that correct? Let me just, oh, this thing's going to drive me bonkers, I can tell. Um, on the 20th, yeah, 80.11. If it closes above 81, I think this is in play because now it's got the base and it's making a, a, a potential cup formation. Hasn't done it yet, but I'll draw it in because it's done the dreaded H and it just by a fraction took it out, but it's still acting quite well. And that says, oh, here's the other thing. Looking out, um, if crude oil closes two out of three consecutive sessions above that 80.11 uh, area that we were looking at uh, from the 20th of May, then I can start to look at the gap. Well, it's a, not a, a visual gap, but it's a gap from close to open. And it's the, the high that was made on the 1st of, um, first of, is that May? Yep, 1st of May, and that's at 81.08. So it's, go step by step. So the most important thing is short term, 78.46, the, um, uh, I would call that the 200 period exponential move. No, so that's the 9 period exponential moving average, still pink. The only way it's going to go green if this goes up about another $1.50. And then you're going to get the nine period moving average green for the first time in quite a while. And that's really what you want to see. So 78, I, I'd say 78 is right now. That's kind of your important support level. I hope that helps you. Oh, it definitely does, Basil. I just, for me, the risk reward at that point, being down at the lower range and going into the weekend was worth taking a shot. And so far, it's kind of working and I'll just continue to monitor it. And I appreciate your help as far as the different numbers to be watching. So just... Have yourself a great day. And uh, again, just thanks so much for your help, Basil. It was great talking to you. My pleasure. And it's great to talk with you. And congratulations once again. It's very good news. So, folks, we'll be back in a moment. Oh, that's not a break. That's just an end to, uh, to Brent's call. Thank you, Brent, for calling. So there are a couple of questions that came in. I just need to get to it. I have not looked at this one. WGMI for Peaky. WGMI. Um Oh, this is Valkyne Bitcoin. Oh, oh, we went to Bitcoin. All right. Um, I Making higher highs and higher lows is trading at 17.58, up 47 cents. So the whole thing about this, you see the way the nine period moving average went positive and then the price kept making higher highs and higher lows. MACD does the same thing. Very nice expansion of the histogram. Stochastics, uh, not so great, 70%. And on-balance volume is not quite overbought, but it's getting close to it. Uh, the relative strength is doing very nicely. That's the daily. The weekly chart says, you know, I've seen this pattern before. It's this, it's this rectangle where you make lower highs, but you also make higher lows. And there you are. So it's that wedge formation. Um, I'm just going to say that's just a pattern I'm looking at. What I'm really looking at is the magnet of the 200-period moving average since it broke above it 
uh, the week of the 22nd of December, up in the uh, 14s, and uh, between 14 and 19. But wait, what happened? It kept coming back. It went down. It made like a fulcrum, exactly a halfway marker between the top and the bottom of that, and using that as a midpoint line. And it keeps doing that. And now it's struggling to push away from this 200 period moving average. But the nine period moving average is over the 14 in the weekly chart. So we'll be back. WGMI, we're looking at up uh, 47 cents at 17.58. I'll do a little work during the break. I'll be right back. Tigers, you've seen his show, you've learned from his webinars, and now it's time to trade side by side with him. Join Larry Pesavento for the second month of his new service, Live Trading Fridays. Hosted in the Tigers Den trading room on Discord, Larry has analyzed a number of commodities and indices, placed profitable trades, and explained his method. Whether you're new to trading or are a seasoned market veteran, trading side by side with a titan like Larry Pesavento will only enhance your game. Utilizing Fibonacci retracements and ABCD structures, Larry provides decades of insight into when to place trades, when to exit, when to ignore, and so much more. Learning is doing. So if you're serious about learning technical analysis and becoming profitable in this uncertain market, Live Trading Fridays is a must-have tool in your arsenal. Live Trading Fridays occur every second and fourth Friday of the month, so trading events for this month are May 10th and 24th. If you're serious about trading, we'll see you there. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Yeah, and thank you very much for that update on the data window, but I didn't want to use another column. That's the whole thing. I'm trying to avoid it. <laughs> I'll have to also keep working on it. So so it was Valkyrie. I'm saying to myself, it looks like Valkyrie, but why would anybody call uh, uh, this, uh, this a Bitcoin Valkyrie? Well, that's because it's the right of the Valkyries. Is that the one? Wagner. Um Anyway, whatever it is, what we're looking at is is trading uh, up to 56 cents at 17.67. So I, this is really difficult for me in the sense that when you're stuck and you've got the 200-period moving average, I suspect that if you're long, Peaky, I would not do anything yet. Give me, let me have another day or two to look at it. I do like the fact that it's making higher highs and higher lows, and I think it is going to try for 18.35 
But to add to a new, a brand new position, that's one thing. If you're in it already and you want to add to it, I would add to it right here at 17.66. But this one, I would probably say just for the moment, I wouldn't have a big position and I would have a one and a half point stop. Why? It should go to C, but it can also go sideways for longer because of that resistance. I hope that helps you. Let's just look at Bitcoin right now. Bitcoin is trading uh, down in 1064. See, this is the one. This is what I'm worried about because I've got a Bitcoin for a while now in a consolidation phase, not breaking down, but in a consolidation phase. So let me just double check the time. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna run out of time. So let me do this before we run out of time. Um, uh, so I did a bunch of those things. I wanted to talk about it in terms of, yeah. So in terms of the VIX index, look at this, this is so interesting. Look, yeah, you've got the, the Dow down sharply. You've got the semiconductor still up four and a half points. I mean, that's a really good action. The VIX index is going to do nothing. Let's just say what would happen. So what would happen is if the volatility index at 12.78 now, any day, not what, two days in a row, but any day pops into the 14.20 area and follows it up with a higher VIX index the next day, then you're getting yourself a consolidation. Until then, it's still a bifurcated market. And with that, I'm going to say have a great rest of the day.